Hello, my comic suggested design the cover comic bringing you guys, yes, you, you, it's you, bringing you guys another video. Today, I want to talk a little bit and give my review of a game that is kind of hit and miss, it's kind of like my mind at the moment for many, many people, and that is Black Ops 4, to be exact, or 2. Point, or 2.5, as a lot of people are calling it, yes. Basically, I wanted to wait a while because I wanted to see the YouTubers upload video footage of the game and game in play to kind of get a gist and an idea of what Black Ops 4 was and then do my review of what I thought of Black Ops 4 for you guys. So without further ado, let's get it on and let's talk about Black Ops 4. So first of all, guys, I'm not associated or affiliated with Activision, so everything I say today, obviously you guys who've been with me, with me for a long time know this, that I don't have any association with them. But I do have one association, and that is the love of Call of Duty. So, Black Ops 4, what do we think of it? So, now what Activision has done, or what Treyarch have done, is they brought back the Specialist. And they've actually based the game round upon the Specialist and how they function to bringing out the new Black Ops 4. Not only that, they've announced as well Black Ops Blackout and to however that's going to work, which is going to be the Battle Royal portion and obviously they're bringing out the zombies. The only thing that they're not bringing out, as I've said as well, unfortunately, is no campaign. To be honest, I don't really play the campaign, so for me that doesn't really make a difference. But maybe to you guys, let me know in the comments below if you did want a campaign and what you think of Black Ops 4 as well. So first things that we've gathered is a specialist. There is a few specialists returning. Obviously we've got Ruin, we've got Seraph, we've got Firebreak, and we have um, Battery as well. And some form of Outrider. I'm not sure 100%, let me know in the comments guys, but I think Outrider is a dude in this one. I don't think it's a woman like it is before. But he has the same ability, which is the Vision Pulse uh, in the game. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I think it's a dude or is it a woman? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. So, first impressions. I kind of like it. It's got the Black Ops 3 feel to it. It's got the original idea, you know, vibrant colours. It's not too bland. It's not going to be hard to see people. It's going to be an interesting game. They have switched it up a little bit, they've now deducted one, one person from each team, so you can only have a team of five instead of the original six. The Pick 10 systems come back, which is really good, because obviously people hated that in World War II, myself included. I absolutely hated the idea you were forced to use a specific division in order to have that specific perk, and then you're going against other people, sometimes making it kind of awkward in those situations to try and win when obviously you can only be limited to certain things you can use. Now I've heard, obviously in Black Ops 4, the weapon's really good. The health has been now changed to 150, so you get 150 health per person. The regen in the game is no longer, in, is no longer done by the game itself. You regen your health yourself. A lot of people have complained about the health regen and said they don't like that idea and that it should be an original way, method of doing it. To be honest, I like that idea. One thing I've always hated or one thing I've always wondered is when you're shot and you've got the blooded screen, you've got to then wait for that blooded screen to go. Does that mean then you can actually move on or not? One thing I really like the idea is that you can stab yourself, you instantly know you're healing. So as soon as you finish one gunfight, you can be healing, ready for the next gunfight and you're not waiting for the system to think now you should get health regen because obviously it's going to take however many milliseconds to start from you getting injured to then getting shot once again to be back to where you were before. I just like the idea of that and yes my phone just vibrated and decided to fly off the side there. Can you stay there please? Thank you. So that kind of thing um, I'm kind of happy with. There is something called the stim shot as well which is different to the health regen that gives you instant health back. That's the only one that I was looking into, I was thinking, I don't like the idea of that, you know, you can, I guess it'd be good in a way for myself, if I kill someone, and I know a lot of times, like I've always said, even in Black Ops 3, it's always, for me, two versus one, having the idea that I can kill someone, 
quickly stim myself and the stim shot gives you instant full health instantly and then be ready for the next guy is a pretty cool thing to have but then to go versus it and someone you kind of tap them and you ca catch them a little bit he goes around the corner you've been injured because he shot you at the same time he instant stims and then comes back and shoots and kills you that's going to be kind of annoying if you don't have stim yourself so i think or i feel that stim shot's going to be a crutch perk in this call of duty as we all know there's certain attributes in many call of duties where they have this so i'm not too sure about that the specialist idea obviously we all know what the specialists do we've got seraph with a pistol which will be in the game we've got Rune, who's got one extra ability, he's got now a grappling hook that can zoom him across map, and he's got a big iron bar, which I, I kind of uh, think it's like the enforcement team, I don't know what they call it, but they ram into doors and smash down doors, instead he pounds the ground with it, and it obviously causes the same effect as it did with gravity spike. You've got Outrider's sort of version of Vision Pulse, there is one way you can apparently give everyone extra health on top of that 150, which is kind of interesting, I guess. There's someone who can drop a bag and you can take extra ammo from, or it has special, a special kind of ammo. I'm not too sure exactly what that is. You've got someone who can put down barricades, who can put like a shield down and then shoot from it. I'm not too sure about that one, to be honest, but there we go. Now we're going to kind of like the Overwatch part of Black Ops 4. And what they mean by call sort of like Overwatch style is the meta of Overwatch. Now I play Overwatch, so I know how bad Overwatch can be. And the meta in Overwatch is not good because what they do is they try to force you to play as a team in order to win games. So you have to have certain people like a tank, you have to have, you know, two assault supports and you have to have a healer in order to win games because if you don't you're going to lose and it's kind of taken that on with black ops 4 now the problem is when youtubers are playing it and they're enjoying it and saying yeah this is the best game ever because my team are doing this and this and this that's cool but when you are in a lobby of randoms who don't want to do that just want to go around and kill things then that is going to be a bit of an issue on my phone it's going to annoy me otherwise. When you get into the other part of it where you're in a room with a bunch of randoms, that's where it's not going to be fun. Because you're going to have that problem of the matter of you've got to have these specific people. Another problem that Overwatch has is that everyone can only have one person in that team. So you can only ever be one tracer. Or one mercy you can't have like a whole mm -hmm. team of mercies or anything like that you can only have one now they've done this in black ops 3 and this is where we're going to have the big problem again because everyone i guarantee is going to want to be ruined but you can only have one so what's going to happen is now you're going to get lobbies filling up you're going to have that one person wanting ruin if he doesn't get ruin he's going to leave and then you're going to get someone else who comes in he might see oh well they haven't got my character someone's picked outrider already or the person like outrider i'm going to leave so you're going to get people in and out in and out in and out of games because they're not going to want to play they're going to want to be that specific person and in overwatch they call them one trick ponies which is basically a specific person who will go in and they'll insta lock that specific person like genji and they'll only play as genji and then other people will be like, well, I want to be Genji. And then we're going to be stood in the meta of, oh, you can only be Ruin, or you can only be Outrider. You might have to play as a character you don't like playing as. Maybe there's a specific one. Maybe you absolutely hate being Firebreak with the Purifier and the Heat Wave. And yet you have to be him because everyone else is picking one, everyone else. And you don't like the other people. You only like specific set people. So there's that problem. Um, apart from that, the game itself looks really good. The guns apparently are very strong anyway, so the 150 health, even though it will take longer to kill, which I don't mind that. The, the longer ter time to kill means that you're going to have to be on target and accurate more often than just quickly spray and accidentally kill people, you know, like in World War II, be like, whoops, I've killed you, whoops, I've killed you, whoops, I've killed you. 
you know, that, that was the kind of idea in, in World War II, just spin around a spray like a madman and you'll kill somebody uh, because of the time to kill is so dang fast in the game. And with this, at least you've got the option that you have to be more accurate mm, and on target mm. for longer to make sure that you get that kill in on that. Uh, for the Rainbow Six style, I guess it's the Riot Shield in the game. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Riot Shield. I guess it can be pretty annoying, but if you've got a battery on your team, you can tear it down pretty easy using the bombs. Uh, from what I've seen in the trailer Black Ops 4 as well, the Riot Shield actually blocks out the Gravity Slam. So if you Gravity Slam and someone puts the Riot Shield down, it doesn't allow you to kill them. So I guess that's a way. Now, what I've always wondered, well, well, one, not what I've wondered, but what I've always felt is that they really should have it so that everything is easily counterable. Now, for instance, let's take an example, the Vision Pulse. Now, Vision Pulse in Black Ops 4 apparently makes everyone visible to all the other teams, which is, hmm, like espionage in World War II. And we know how much we loved espionage when it first came out. That was amazing. So they brought that into Black Ops 4. And it's like, I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't mind that one person knowing where people's locations are. But the whole team, what I think they should do in order to counter this, if they were going to do that and have that kind of thing in, is at least, as we know in Black Ops 3, when our rider uses the vision pulse, it pings her location. Now, I think it should do the same, and it should ping out all the enemies' locations for just a second or so, so that you can see where they are on the map, but they can see through walls. So at least you have an idea of which way they're coming from, so that, yeah, they can see you through walls, so they will have, obviously, the bigger advantage, but you will know that they're there. So you're both kind of, you're going to be trying to track and find the target. They're going to be able to sort of know where you are to come in and try and take you out that would be a better way of doing it the gravity slam again i know the counter for that literally is just to jump in the air if you can jump in the air 20 pounds then obviously it wouldn't affect you i think that's what could counter it because obviously we don't have the thrusting now so every time he gravity slams what's going to be the counter for that i think if you can jump at the right time that it hits the floor, it only kills people who are still stood on the floor and not the people that jump. So that way then that's accounted. Uh, for the right shield, obviously for that one, I'm not too sure what you could actually do for that one. Uh, what the counter could be, maybe make it have more parts in it that you can shoot through so that there's less cover. Or maybe have it so that if you have an SMJ, you could shoot through the shield. I don't know. So some kind of counter to it. Let me know if you can think of a good counter for the right shield. For the grenade launcher, again, it's it's one of those awkward ones. It, it bounces or falls, and then all these little bullets, all these little bombs just come out of it and explode everywhere. So I don't know really what the counter would be for that. So that would be an interesting one to find out if there's a way that you can do that. Obviously you can put down the shield and maybe that would block the bullet, the bombs from killing you, but just having one of them on your team, which is bringing them back to the meta of you're going to have to have specific team members in your team in order to win games. So if you only have all the other members and not the guy with the right shield, but the other team have the right shield guy, then you're going to be in for a harder time of trying to get past the shield without this person and one thing I wonder if they're going to do in Black Ops 4 are you going to be able to change your specialist every time you respawn or are you going to only be able to be that specialist through the entire match because can you imagine that you can only be that character now in Overwatch you can change your characters all the time if you can't in this then you're going to have a situation that if you pick the wrong characters you're going to be stuck with them the entire game and then how are you going to counter Someone who has a better formula of characters from the opposite team. I don't know, but I'm hoping that they do listen and they do change that because that will not be good. If you have a certain meta that people know, you know, this shield guy is good with battery and then you can use Outriders to do this and we'll have Ruin to do that. 
and yet the other team don't pick that they pick maybe battery they pick serif they pick firebreak and they pick two of the two of us and not the shield no, not the shield guy unless the there's only going to be a select number of characters i'm not sure how many there's going to be there's serif there's rune there's battery outrider there's the other guy is it i'm sure there's at least six seven characters in the game at the moment and then obviously when they introduce more characters there's going to be a bigger uh, expansive selection of characters so then it's going to be more of a guessing game to who's going to pick who which again is pretty hard in Overwatch because Overwatch has absolutely tons of characters that you can actually be and they've introduced another one called Wrecking Ball and you know with body selection of different characters means that you're going to have to sort of swap and change characters around which I've done in the past in order to make sure I've got the right person to do the right job if I felt that me using Tracer wasn't good enough and it would have been better as another character like Winston and obviously I would change over to Winston and so on and so forth whether they're going to do that Black Ops 4 I don't know so so my idea of the game so far my impression is it's going to be like Black Ops 3 that's fair enough I don't mind Black Ops 3 I have seen that the guns only have limited attachments on certain weapons so certain weapons have stock certain weapons don't which i kind of find weird they should have stock in all the different variations on each one high caliber if it is in black ops 4 i'm not sure if it is i can't remember seeing it if it is please track make sure that you have to shoot them in the head first then it counts as high caliber not accidentally go oh high caliber yes <laughs> Which has been the meta of Black Ops 3. You know, accidentally shooting, you shoot them, they recoil up, and they shoot you in the head. It's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's amazing. I was going to beat you, but apparently, because of high caliber, you accidentally headshot me and killed me in one bullet less. Woohoo! You know, and if you're using such a, like the Shiva, it's like one shot. So, yeah, amazing. So, with all that said, my impression of Black Ops 4, if I was to mark it up, 10 i'll probably give it a 7.5 out of 10 at the moment the main reason of it is i wasn't particularly fond of seeing the specialists come back but they are coming because i'm i absolutely hate getting to the high streaks and then you accidentally get bombed or you get shredded with the scythe or you get the knife blade of specter because he auto locks onto you and stuff like that which is kind of annoying um but i guess i can live with that the guns in the game seem pretty good i definitely like the health regen that seems okay for me i don't mind doing my own health regen at least i know i'm instantly healing as i'm doing it stab myself i know i'm healing at that point and not thinking how many seconds do i have to wait because you kind of got to guess the length of time it takes from being injured to going back to full health so i'm glad that's kind of being introduced in a way the stim shot they're definitely gonna have to do something with that maybe make it longer or take it out of the game to be honest i think stim shot shouldn't be in the game if you've got health regen it should be just normal health having 150 health as it is is going to be pretty crazy and then you've got that other guy who can give you extra armor or extra health on top of that which seems kind of crazy he's got like a device on his wrist he presses and it makes all the team have extra health and then you can imagine stim shot on that as well it's going to be kind of uh, annoying. The whole idea that everyone's going to have to work as a team is my final problem in the game. Now, the meta in Overwatch is not good. People absolutely hate working as teams. And as much as they have tried to get people to work as a team, people absolutely hate it. They want to just run on their own, do their own thing, and sometimes work as a team, sometimes not. Myself included, you know, I like to be a bit of a lone wolf. I don't really like generally always running with the other team. I like to do my own thing. So um, having that idea that you are forced to work as a team is not going to play well with certain people. And so some people are going to get put off with it. And if your team players, your teammates are rubbish, you're going to be stuck. You're going to have a really bad time. Even on Black Ops 3, obviously, if your team's terrible, you can pretty much struggle like I've done in the past anyway. But the idea that you've got to work now as a team and do specific jobs, that's why it's going to be really, really tough. And that's what's going to probably make or break 
Black Ops 4. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. It is a bit of a lengthy video, but I wanted to get all of it out after watching all those YouTube videos and seeing what the game is and how I think it is. I thought I'd let you know my opinion of what Black Ops 4 is going to be like or what the potential of Black Ops 4 is going to be like. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think of Black Ops 4. And you know it is, guys. It is I, the Kappa Convict. I'm signing out. And as always, I salute you guys. And I will see you, hopefully, in another vlog. So, bye for now.